Hello! In this video, I will create a dynamic calendar, but in a new way. The calendar will be updated if I change the starting day, the month or the year. In addition, the names of months and days will change depending on your language and region. This video is very important because I use a lot of functions and Excel tips and tricks. So stay with me. Are you ready? Let's begin. First, I will make a sheet for input data. Begin with numbers, days, months, years. To create serial numbers, use sequence function equals sequence. I want the value 12, its months count. To avoid any error with XLOOKUP function that I will use later, I'll create serial days count is 12. As we know, Excel reads date as a number. Number 1 represents the first date in Excel, which is January 1st, 1900. Let me see which day it was. Use text function equals text. The value is A2. The format is 4D letters to display the day as Sunday, Monday, etc. I can fill series down but I won't use sequence function instead. Replace A2 with sequence 12. Don't write Sunday, Monday manually because I want them to change when I change the region. To take month name, I want two functions. I'll begin with date. Equals date. The year I want is any year. Let's select 2000. The month is A2 value, which is 1. The day is 1. To get the month name as a text, proceed the formula with text function. Put comma at the end. The date format is 4M letters. That will give me January, February, etc. Replace A2 with sequence function. Sequence 12. Close parentheses. For years, use sequence function. For example, I want 32 years after 2020. The rows I want is 32. No columns I need. Start from 2020. I can increase the year's count. For example, let me put 100 instead of 32. The years becomes from 2020 to 2119. I want them as a text for data validation as a list. Proceed the formula with text function. The number format is four zeros. The year's numbers become text. Try is text function, it will give me true value. To make formulas easier, I'll use names. Select range A1, C12. Formulas tab, name group, create from selection. Select top row, now I have three names, days, months, and no. To select all years in the range, press Ctrl and Shift and down arrow. Create from selection, top row. I have a new name, which is years. I want other helping data. The year, which I input in the calendar. Use data validation, data tab, Data Validation, List, F3 key, Choose Years. I want the value to be a number. To do that, use value function equals value G1. This value is a number. 
we can use is number function to verify that the value is true the month that we want to input in the calendar also we want data validation list press f3 key choose months here we can choose any month start day for calendar typically the week starts from sunday in most countries but some countries start from saturday like arab and maybe some countries start from friday i don't know let me know in your comment which day is the first day in your country also i want a list press f3 d choose days i'll choose sunday then i can change it to get the month number i use xlookup function lookup value is g2 lookup array is months return array is no if i change the month its number will change the same for days xlookup lookup value is g3 lookup array is days return array is no i want to use date function equals date the year i want is h1 the month is h2 and the day is 1 these cells i'll cut them to the calendar sheet i want to know which day is this date for that i can use text function equals text g4 for d letters the value is sunday to know the number of this day in the week use weekday function equals weekday g4 the value is one for sunday as you know sunday is the first day in the week the value will change depending on the first day on the month as we see now i can begin with calendar table i will create it in this worksheet and then move it to another one that's easier as you know excel reads a date as a number so i can use any calculation on it in any cell i will input g4 which is the chosen date minus h4 which is the weekday of the chosen date plus h3 which is the weekday of the start day of the calendar it gives me a date to make it as a calendar i'll use sequence function i explained it before cut my formula equals sequence the wanted rows numbers is 6 while columns number is 7 paste my formula in start argument press enter change the format of the range home tab more number formats custom write d d to display date as 0, 01 0, 02 etc don't write the name of days manually use text function instead equals text m4 the format is 3d letters sun is displayed fill series to the right all weekdays are displayed change the month to october open windows calendar the first day of the month is saturday and here is the same let me try to start from friday and try another month for example december the calendar is missing the first day of the month to solve this problem use if function note here six greater than five this is the argument cut the formula if h3 greater than h4 then paste the formula and subtract 7 from it else 
Paste the formula. Enter. The problem is solved. Now, cut these cells. Create new sheet. Paste. Then cut the calendar range and paste it in the new sheet. Choose Center Across Selection for these cells. Do some formatting to the cells. The calendar is ready. I only want conditional formatting. Change the starting day or the month or the year. The calendar is updated. I will choose the current year and the current month. It's October. And start from Sunday. To know the month for each number, I can use month function equals month A5. The value is 9. Fill series to the right. It becomes 10 on the first day of the month. Copy this formula to use it in the conditional formatting. Select this range. Conditional formatting. New role. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Paste the formula. Then write not equals. The chosen month number, which is H2 in the sheet 1. Format. Fill. Choose gray color and change the color of the font. Erase these data. I want another conditional formatting for today. As I did before, conditional formatting, new role, use a formula to determine which cells to format, equals A5, press F4, to make it with relative reference equals today open and close parentheses choose any format and colors you want i recorded this video on october 17. i can also make borders for cells by conditional formatting If month A5 equals H2 in sheet 1, choose any color for borders and select all borders. The calendar is ready now. You can change the starting day, the month or the year. All values in the calendar will update it. The trick in this way is, if you change the region setting on the windows, the calendar will be changed. Go to control panel, clock and region, region, let me select Arabic, Syria. The calendar updated and I can change the sheet direction to right. From page layout, sheet right to left. This trick is applied to all languages. That's all for today. If you like this video, please hit a like and share it. See you soon.